Hi, Steve Marcroft here. Today we're talking about upper canopy blackleg infection and should you spray a fungicide late in the growing season to protect your canola crop. So you can see here I've got a, the camera zoomed in on an affected flower and that's probably the first sign that you'll see. that These flowers have been infected, you'll see those little black dots, they're the fruiting bodies and the blackleg will kill that flower so it won't um, grow or produce a pod. Often you'll see things like this little guy here, again you can see the fruiting bodies on it, the pod's still there but it will die and drop off. And then as it gets more severe, you can see this one here, okay? and this one is actually grown from that flower into the branch, and this is where it becomes more serious. So what we think happens here is that pathogen now gets into the branch, and that will actually affect all the pods now on that stem. Often it will actually chainsaw the top of the plant off, and there's one in here where this has occurred. You can see there, that stopped all further development. You can see that original flower that's been infected and it stops all further development. So that main raceme won't produce any more pods above that infection. So that's one of the problems. The second thing is the blackleg gets into the vascular tissue. So it actually slows down the rate of a moisture uptake and nutrient uptake within the plant. So even if you don't see too many symptoms, we're still seeing major yield losses because you get less um, smaller number of pods um, you know, less seeds per pot, etc. And what we've been finding is that when this upper canopy black leak becomes severe, increased yields of up to 20% can be achieved if fungicide is applied at the 30% bloom stage, but there has to be severe upper canopy infection.